So now we actually have something that can solve the communication problems. Back then we used to use screenshots, animations, renderings, physical models, all of these to communicate with the others. No matter their clients or engineers, general contractors, that was really difficult, especially when the other stakeholders, they don't have CAD software to visualize your model and being able to comment on that. Is, that was impossible. So that's the reason I, I founded Modelo. Give the access to everybody in the industry to be able to communicate and collaborate with each other. And the product is evolving every two to three weeks. So we have new features. We just launched VR integration. We can actually get your CAD to VR within one minute for customers and users using for presentation. I mean, that's also because of the fact it's really fast. We are talking about like 50 times faster, probably the fastest one in the world now. So every time I present that or show that to our customers or users, they all get impressed because there's nothing like that before. I uh, transferred from Miami University to USC in 2008, and I got my master's degree from their master in architecture from USC in 2009. And the last studio I was taking there was taught by a French professor called Francois Roche. He's awesome, he's really awesome. He's sometimes a little bit crazy. <laughs> I mean, to the others, not to me. I appreciate him for his continuous pursuing of the truth of not only the society, but also human lives and human relations. Uh, he actually invited me to teach with him for his graduate design studio after I graduated. My personal interest back then was what we call computational design which is part of the architectural design, but uh, involves with lots of computations, like programming. I decided to give up the job and then apply to Harvard Graduate School of Design, a program called the Master of Design Study but in Technology. I came here knowing that what I need, right? I, I want to learn how do I combine design and programming at the same time. Canon geologist Michelatos, that's his name. He was my uh, director at GSD. He's the smartest person I ever met. He's actually an architect, registered architect, but he's very into programming, computer science, and he showed me the technology called WebGL at the very beginning, back in 2012, which is actually the foundation, the protocol of the entire platform that allows web browsers to render 3D geometries. I didn't know at that time that I'm the only master's student in the school's history that got, got both of the prize. And so the first one called Peter Bryce Prize, it got the other prize, the Digital Design Prize, by, uh, by doing my thesis work, which is actually uh, one of the WebGL application. I, I don't really have a favorite city. I love city, different city for different reasons. I think anytime you feel that you are getting away from your comfortable zone, that make it like a real challenge. And I love that. I love that part of the life. I still consider myself as one of the architects. So I think that's the road change um, between myself now and my younger self. I think what we are doing now has uh, also have a very good potential of uh, influence the whole industry, uh, as well as make the uh, life easier for everybody within the industry and we want to be that one, that guy, that company. <laughs>